So we're gonna talk about cordless foams today. This one here, I think it's pre-1994. Um, I do need to clean up a little bit, but it's in pretty good shape. My guess it was a spare phone in a room somewhere. Um, so originally, cordless phones, the common ones that we would see on TV were ones for huge antennas. They used around 27 megahertz. I'm gonna find the frequencies for those and put them up, up here. Um, the problem is, is that those type of phones um, really weren't the technology that um, we were used to seeing if you're like 40 or over. It was all 43 megahertz analog. And 43 megahertz analog cordless phones were in use from probably the mid 80s all the way up to, I want to say the early 2000s. By the mid-90s, analog cordless, cordless phones at 43 megahertz were cheap. Um, there were spread spectrum phones, but they were very expensive. And then 900 megahertz analog started to make its way in um, at that time towards the end of that. Um, those were also very cheap. But now, anything that you buy that's new for cordless phones, at the minimum, you're going to get 2.5 gigs way up there. Um, gigahertz band way, way up there. I'll put the range of those frequencies in there too, also up above. Um, and nowadays it's all spread spectrum. Some phones like the Wi-Fi, different, different, totally different technology. But in the nineties and the eighties, you could listen to your whole neighborhood on 43 megahertz analog. And, um, it's interesting. Who is it called the phone? It's 43 megahertz, 10 of broke. I can plug it up. JB weld it back together with the plastic part so it looks consistent. You got the intercom. Hello? 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 But that's what we're going to mess around with today. Circa mid 90s. So I'm using a different camera here, the spare Android. Let's see what it sounds like if somebody calls these phones if you're listening on the scanner. Let's do it. Send me an encoded ringtone. Hello? 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 Let me so you first turn on the tone, and I think the base station is in receive mode on the frequency that it's told to be on. So it's not transmitting, so you won't hear it on the scanner at all. So it does this thing where it tries to um, make it look like you have a secure frequency or trying to find an open channel. We're going to mess with that and see if that does anything. And it scans to the open channel, which seems to default to certain channels, but this doesn't mean anything because it's just, there's very little, there's no traffic as I showed before in my neighborhood on 43 megahertz at all. We're going to redial. I'm going to show how it would work if somebody calls. So look what it does when you dial. It makes you think like it's it's hopping channels, but it really isn't. I messed up. Hang on. Way too long. Redial. See how it hops like that? It's kind of funny. Put this over here. Sound of the tone, the CSX standard time will be 14, 58, and 45 seconds. I'm gonna go for a walk here. Think about these phones. These are like, I guess you could call them second generation cordless phones. Um, look at that. Tree starting to bloom. They're more designed for you to have around the house. You go outside the back, you know, you're having a drink, you rest on the table, that kind of thing. Um, but these were not really at all designed to be carried around in your pocket right now, like slightly newer phones were. Um, so we're scanning the whole band here. We have nothing, no activity on 43 megahertz. I mean, we do have some houses around here. There ain't no duplex or anything. So it's totally clear on the channels. See how far we get this. At the sound of the tone, the CSX standard time will be 14, 59, and zero seconds. At 
Stop it. There we go. The Harvard Center snubber doesn't work anymore. You guys do Fun Losers of America pranking people. Wow. We're at the end of the street here. I mean, you have much more range in listening than you would in talking. Which is probably why At the sound of the tone, the you could um, see your coldest phones all over your neighborhood seconds. growing up. We're walking to the area, another area where the phone will key up. House is here. The phone's in the front of the house. I can't really estimate. Um, but then we get this here. We're out of range. Interesting. So I think what happens here is that the phone signals when you hit talk, every channel you select, it signals the base station to go out of receive mode and go into um, duplex mode. Whereas one frequency is handset and one frequency is base station. That way you can talk. Um, so the range isn't all that good on this. I expected a little more here. Let's go a little bit randomly around here. I really like to um, measure how far away this is. Yeah, so that's about it, really. The ranges are all that good on these. I, I thought maybe, I mean, it is 43 megahertz low band at the end of the day. So, you know, it's not the most portable type setup. But a lot of the stuff about the coolest phones from this era is on the old web, GeoCities era stuff. So we're walking towards the street. For reference, here's the street, here's the Buick. Oop. We got signal. You know, it's funny. This is made out of an old ATT course phone antenna. And there we go. We got signal. Oh, the wrong button. Oh, oh, I'm out of range. I can't shut it off. So we'll get closer to the property back here. At the sound of the tone, the CSX standard time will be. At the sound of the tone, the CSX standard time will be 15, 0, 8, and 45. A lot of trash back here. At the sound of the tone, the CSX standard time. Oh, we're starting to lose it now. So we've lost the signal. So you definitely got more range listening than you do with the handset. Let's let the handset back here. We go back in the house and do that. So the phone's already on and connected and dialed in. So just so we know, windy as hell, of course, as usual. Keep listening. Starting to get some signal degradation there. Oh yeah. And the phone's starting to trip, it's going out of range. Wow. Total static, and we're right back at the shed here. The beep gets annoying, more annoying. I can make it. I can make it up, but very poorly. Out of range beep. And the phone just cut off totally, so it didn't even make it to over here. Um, just for our reference point we were before. 
So the phone's dead. Um, can't, you know, so like, so let's see what we could do at the end of the street here. Let's see if we, not a road noise. They use the phone pedestal. This is what provides cable internet into the house here. Television. God knows how old that is. This ain't gonna work too well, but hey, anyhow. Nope. No range from here to here, so. Kind of useless on the range. I'm not very impressed. Yeah. Not even. Ooh. The other antenna. That's straight up static. Hello, anybody out there? Break up, break up. It's straight up static right now. So these are uh, probably work as advertised, designed for in your house, maybe out back at the pool a little bit. You know, you're not gonna get every inch of your property covered. No, it's doing it again. It's like, I got a signal right here. It's a little staticky though. Over here is where it would be so overall it's interesting fun to play around with um expected the 43 megahertz band to be dead but um i did not expect it to be um this dead um what's on 43 megahertz around here high patrol used to use in north carolina not much not much at all keep the quality channel three you can mainly change channels too, I think.